Are you curious about the faces behind Delightful Paws? Well, I've been doing this channel for over a year now, so I thought it was about time to do a video where you got to know Roscoe and I a little bit better. This video is obviously going to be more relaxed, which is why I'm outside just enjoying the sunshine. So anyway, let's just get on to it. Here are 100 facts about Roscoe and I. Let's get the obvious one out of the way first. Roscoe is a multi-poo, which means he's a mix of Maltese and toy poodle. His birthday is November 25th, 2019, so he's about one and a half, and he was born one of six puppies. He currently weighs eight pounds and is not getting any bigger, so he's a very small little guy. Roscoe's middle name is Winston. That was our second choice, but we liked Roscoe because it sounded a bit more playful like him. My name's Julia, I'm 15 years old. When I was younger, people would often think I was one year younger, younger, one year older than I was because I am tall. My little brother was born when I was eight years old. Up until I got Roscoe, I was more of a cat person than a dog person. I've been homeschooled all my life ever since kindergarten. My mom makes a great teacher. I have a passion for foreign language. I've taken Latin for the past six years and it's so fun. And I've also taken roughly five years of Spanish. Roscoe's favorite toy is Beaver. He could lick that toy all day long. One of my favorite quirks is Roscoe sneezes every time he's excited. Roscoe knows how to army crawl. He is a pro at chasing chipmunks. And his favorite place to nap is on my brother's bean bag. Ever since I can remember, I've always loved using my imagination and writing stories. I've actually self-published three books. I'm a perfectionist. I must deliver my best work, and it honestly drives me crazy sometimes. I love listening to audiobooks. The first YouTube video I ever made on a private YouTube channel was a time lapse of me building a Lego set. I feel most alive in nature. Oh, the bugs, Roscoe. Can you feel them? Mosquitoes. Roscoe likes digging trenches in the backyard. He also nests in his bed. What I mean by that is he kind of makes a well in the bean bag and then circles a million times until he finds the perfect position. What do you see over there? Is it people? Roscoe scratches and licks at the same time. I gotta commend him, he's one efficient groomer. He loves sweet potato fries. Roscoe has the energy of a lab. Even after two walks in a row, he's still completely playful. No, my battery's dying. I knew it would happen. Problems of being a YouTuber right here. My dad's in his office and I left my camera charger in there and I couldn't interrupt him because he's on a conference call. So now I'm gonna have to wait. Intermission. That angle is probably not the same as it was. All right, so I'm back. That was a little adventure. All right, where was I? I once temporarily lost my neighbor's cat while I was cat sitting. Long story short, an electrician was at their house fixing something and he left the door to the garage, not the garage, he left the door to the basement open. Oh my goodness, crows, would you please be quiet? <laughs> Everything's against me for this video, Roscoe. Anyways, the electrician left the door to the basement open and the cat escaped. Luckily, the cat was under the house, so we were able to find her soon enough, but that was definitely nerve wracking. I jumped off a high dive at age seven, even though I'm no daredevil. My favorite show is Merlin. It's a series based on the tales of King Arthur. I'd rather live in a small town than a city. My favorite season is fall. Roscoe looks like a scraggly mop when he's wet. He likes to sleep on his back with his paws up in the air. Roscoe knows a ton of different tricks. He's hiked an entire mountain before, and when we're outside, he often drinks out of the bird bath. I was once strangled in a seatbelt. We were riding home from a wedding and I was in the very back seat of our minivan. It was late at night, so I wanted to get some sleep. I lied down on the very back seat with the seatbelt on. Somehow the child safety lock was activated and basically I was stuck in the seatbelt. The lap belt kept getting tighter and tighter like a corset and I was freaking out. My parents actually ended up having to cut the seatbelt out of the actual car because there was no other way to get me free. I have my driver's permit as of recently. My house was built before the Civil War. I enjoy writing songs on the ukulele and my favorite dog breed is either a multi-poo or a golden retriever. Those crows are still at it. Roscoe goes psycho after bath time. In the summer, Roscoe loves to roll in dead worms. He adores little kids, especially when they give him food and play with him. Roscoe's favorite form of mischief is ripping up tissues. 
Roscoe is quite the little vacuum cleaner. We'll often find him up on the couch scavenging for all the little crumbs my brother dropped when he was eating his snack. It took me until this year to have the courage to pick up a spider. The ocean is my favorite place to swim. I've kept a journal since I was seven years old. When we go out for ice cream, picking a flavor stresses me out. I'm so indecisive. I want to travel to Italy one day, especially since I know Latin. Roscoe didn't pant until he was five months old. He doesn't lift up his leg to pee, even though he's a boy. When he sees a dog, Roscoe either sounds like a wailing baby or a ferocious bear. We call him a dainty pooch at mealtimes because he often sits with his little legs crossed. Roscoe likes to hunt and follow the trails of ants he finds. My parents like to tease me about the time we drove through New York City when I was four years old and I said the skyscrapers weren't that big. I've slept under the stars on the top of the mountain, which was just amazing. No matter how many times you try to teach me the rules, I'll never quite understand the game of football. I must admit I kind of lack common sense. I've even called my mom once before because I couldn't figure out how to unlock the door. I can stand cold, but not intense heat. Roscoe has never chewed a cord before. He's barked at things on TV, including videos of himself and polar bears. Roscoe hates it when we touch his paws, let alone getting his nails trimmed. Roscoe's gone wilderness camping and has slept in a tent. And Roscoe would rather be picked up than sit on my lap. My absolute favorite snack in the entire world is honey mustard and onion pretzels. My mom and I go through a bag every couple nights. I got a tooth pulled in fourth grade, and ever since then, I've been very diligent about flossing. I'm more a saver than a spender. When I was 10 years old, I saved up enough money to buy myself an iPad. I once cried on vacation in California because of the big blizzard I was missing at home. Over quarantine, I taught myself how to skateboard. It took Roscoe months to overcome his fear of climbing stairs. Roscoe always pops up on the couch in my dad's office and looks out the huge window when he hears the car pull into the driveway. It gets me every time just because of how small he is in comparison to the window. Roscoe gets his ball stuck under furniture all the time and it drives us nuts. He still can't consistently catch a frisbee. And even to this day, he barks at his reflection. I am not assertive. I'd rather pay the extra dollar than telling the storekeeper that she's overcharged me. I like being unique and I want all my ideas to be original. I always read the book before watching the movie. I'm both a night person and a night, night person? I'm both a morning person and a night owl. What is climbing on my camera? Ew. Looks like something from Phylum Hexapoda. I can't survive the school year without making to-do lists every day. Roscoe has a habit of rubbing on people's socks. And he has a tendency to walk on the wet floor after it's just been mopped. Some of Roscoe's nicknames include Poochie, Pathetic Pooch, Roscoe Babe, Roscoe Pico, and we can't forget Spindle Legs. He's ruined quite a few of my clarinet auditions because of his howling. Roscoe believes he's a cow and eats grass whenever he goes outside, no matter how hard we try to stop him. My camera just ran out of storage, whoops. <laughs> oh no, 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 beetle, 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 it's climbing on my lens, get off, get off. I found the specimen that was on my camera. I've never broken a bone or even sprained anything. I'm an introvert and a common misconception about me is that I'm shy and standoffish. I do cross country and track and I did ballet until I was 12. I like planning everything ahead, although recently I feel like I've been a little more laid back in terms of my schedule. The first public YouTube channel I had was called Willowbrun Music where I posted covers and original songs on the clarinet. My middle name means climbing a mountain, which is fitting because I love the outdoors. When I was eight, I had a dream of walking across the country and I made a plan to drag some of my friends along too. <laughs> I have a dog walking business. When I was younger, I seemed to always win in the library summer reading program. To date, I've won a book about rocks, a couple gift cards, a drone, an Amazon Kindle, and also a certificate to go to a ropes course. And the last fact about me is that I prefer snail mail, and I've had up to four pen pals at the same time. Roscoe acts like a baby when his daddy leaves. His favorite game is Chase. He gets excited when the workers at Dunkin' Donuts see his cute little face and give him a free munchkin. Roscoe often forgets to drink and ends up trying to get water from the bathtub. And lastly, the final fact, and probably the most shocking one, is that Roscoe, believe it or not, is somehow defended, defended, descended, 
from the wolves. So there you have it. Those are 100 facts about Roscoe and I that you probably didn't know. Comment down below the top two facts that shocked you the most, one about Roscoe and one about me. I hope you enjoyed getting to know us a little bit better and stay tuned for our next video. Thanks for watching and Roscoe and I will see you next time. Bye. Oh, Roscoe, this is the life. He's like, let me free. Oh, I forgot to put on your leash before you go run away and chase Chippy, come on.